Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, je suis très heureux uh, de uh, jouer ici uh, à Verbier. I was in the academy in 2012, and I guess to be able to become a soloist now, uh, after going through that process and learning from such great musicians and uh, teachers was uh, it's like kind of like a dream, dream come true for me. Coming back as a soloist uh, just means a lot and to be playing uh, at Sal de Comba uh, tomorrow is just such a huge honor and a great privilege and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Martin Ungstrom is uh, definitely a mentor for me. I met him first after the Van Dome Prize and I got to like know him more after uh, the Chopin, uh, Tchaikovsky competition because he was a jury there and he invited me to spend a week here last year and yeah we spent a lot of time together and uh, we contacted each other uh, frequently and he's definitely made uh, helped make me make important decisions with like management and things like that and uh, yeah he's definitely been a huge help since I've met him. So I have some friends in, in Verbier uh, who are in the academy actually and uh, we've always talked and uh, it'd be awesome to like find a football pitch and play soccer uh, or football uh, and yeah that'd be great or just to hike up the mountains would be really a wonderful experience. So I'm playing the Sanson uh, G minor concerto and it's very close to me because uh, when I was like 10 or 11 I first performed it and I guess I, I really haven't touched it since then and uh, going back and kind of looking at all the notes all like the long lists and like the uh, colors of instructions on my uh, score it's really refreshing to just kind of come back to it and look at it in a different uh, light and think of uh, different ways to perform it and for me, uh, I really love the first movement um, because it's so dramatic and it's juxtaposed with the final two movements, uh, the second which is so light and bubbly and refreshing and the third which is insistent and the rhythms just keep coming and coming and crashing onto you. It's like a tarantella uh, which doesn't stop until you run out of breath and just fall at the end. Uh, so yeah, it's a really exciting piece for me and I uh, really love it a lot. Uh, je suis très heureux de vous voir uh, demain. Merci.